it's actually a headline that I've used the White House wages war on transparency. That is that I've used on several occasions. Um, this time I called it Trump's health edition. Um, on this occasion, it's the fact, quite simply, that they have not been at all forthcoming, at least not in a clear, consistent way, about Trump's health, um, even though it is clearly a matter of enormous public concern, both for people in the US and I think around the world as well. There's nothing new in them seeking to not just kind of stonewall and deny reporters information, but to create a, a circus where they not only, you know, try and hide the bad stuff, but counterattack by attacking reporters' credibility, attacking, um, in some cases, in very personal terms, the actual reporters and, and their institutions, you know, in a sense that might be <laughs> contradictory to what I just said. This White House and Trump personally, in particular, put an awful lot of the really bad stuff on the public record either just because Trump can't keep his mouth shut or because it's part of a strategy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not inside his head, but, you know, during his impeachment, he came out and effectively admitted the central charge of what he was supposed to have done. Uh, you know, a few weeks ago, he went on Fox and said that the reason, one of the reasons he isn't complying with stimulus talks in Congress is because he doesn't want to fund mail-in voting. He thinks it would be, uh, you know, because it would go against this kind of disinformation campaign. He's whipped up against that. So, it's this weird dichotomy where you have, on the one hand, a load of really blatant stuff, you know, the quiet part, as it were, being said out loud by Trump. And I think reporters have not always had a good handle on how to proportionally kind of convey how shocking that stuff is, because you just no, don't normally see that stuff out so openly.